Because when I went to check in today, I had to go into the back office and speak to the man. And the man told me that he was going to fine me $5,000 a day for all four days. $20,000 is what it was going to cost us. Hey guys, I know it's been a while. Uh, this is our first Bahamas video, which includes some really good life lessons and some clarifications for sailing and what you should and should not bring. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, give us a like on Facebook and we'd enjoy it very much if you followed us. Absolutely. Have a great day. See ya. It is a little choppy today. Uh, winds gusting up to 20 knots so far. So the seas are a little rough, but it's not too bad yet. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse than it already is. Because then we're going back to dry tortugas. We are leaving the dry tortugas and heading to Marathon, Florida. After five days of warm, calm weather, it sure is hard to get back to the pounding. We have a slip waiting for us at the Marathon Marina. And when we arrived, we had mail waiting for us as well. Chuck got some new pants. Our mast light had gone out, so Chuck had to be lifted to the top of the mast in order to fix it. As you can see by the flag, that day was pretty windy. Because of parts and tools needed, Chuck made that climb about four times that day. We also were restocking food for our time in the Bahamas. So between up and down the mast, and back and forth to grocery stores and parts stores, we sure stayed busy, but still had time to enjoy the music. I even got a little of you. <laughs> <laughs> Today is February 12th. Happy birthday to Heidi. Heidi is in her mid-30s. And we are headed to Bahamas. We left at 4 a.m. It is now almost 1. Sun's up though. It looks nice out. Uh, it's still pretty still pretty rough but we don't have any of the huge waves that we're bashing into uh, as bad as we did. We've got about four more hours till we get to Bahamas so if all goes well we should be there at We got the sail up and we were able to turn a little bit and pick up some of the Gulf Stream movement and now we're doing about eight knots instead of 1.2 knots when we're bashing into the waves at four knots so yeah Picking up the sale helped out a lot. Land ho! We are in sight of Bimini. We made it! The Bahamas. Happy birthday to me! Well, we won't make it in time to check in. Everything we read said that the offices were only nine to five. So we put up the quarantine flag, called in on the VHF and the phone numbers we had without any response. So we went to go look for a place to anchor and check in tomorrow. And tomorrow came in with quite a fury. We actually found a place to anchor on the backside of Bimini. Um, we were just gonna go overnight. Um, but the next morning, when this storm came in, we were stuck writing it out for two days. The sight of land came and went with the rain. The wind had us healed over 30 degrees, first one side, then the other. But our anchor never budged. And we got a salt-free washdown. Who could ask for more? A wonderful night. Today is day two in the Bahamas. Day one consisted of a squall. A freight train came through and just nailed the boat 
and laid it over. Uh, Healing it <laughs> Yeah. And then it started. And it it blew. It's still blowing. Uh, we got uh, we got winds of uh, 25 knots right now. It's still a really rolly anchorage, but uh, we had uh, we had consistent winds of 38 knots, and we had water coming over the bow of the boat. So we had four to six foot waves at anchor, <laughs> and the boat was just doing this all night long. But, but we held. But we held. We're just kind of hanging out here, getting out of the boat because because it rained for hours and we hours. We all the cushions. We put uh, clampy clamps on the cushions and hung them over the side of the boat, so they got rained off for several hours, so they're nice and clean. Um, and then this morning I was going to get the Canon camera and take a uh, video, but now the lens is broke on that, so that's not working. And we lost the GoPro to a non-dry bag, so that's not working. So the only thing we got left is our video camera, our Sony video camera, and we cannot find the charging cord for that. And so we got two iPhones and two iPads and a dead Sony camcorder. <laughs> but welcome to day two in the Bahamas, and this is working out wonderfully. We haven't even set foot on land. We haven't even set foot on land yet. We already went through a damn squall. Yeah. So welcome to the Bahamas. Hopefully it's got to get better. Oh, and today's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Happy Valentine's Day to my wife. Had a great life lesson today. When I went to check in today, I had to go into the back office and speak to the man. And the man told me that because I had been out here, uh, I got here on the 12th and then we got into five a huge big wind thunderstorm uh, for two days. And then I didn't check in until the afternoon of the 15th. He was going to fine me $5,000 a day for all four days. $20,000 is what it was gonna cost us. So when you get to one of these countries, you need to check the hell in, okay? He said that he was going to reduce my fine. He's only going to charge me a thousand dollars. Through some heartfelt discussions with him, he let me go. He let but me go. We're legal now. Here's our little Bahamas flag. After four days stuck on the boat due to weather and the stressful time checking in. Chuck couldn't wait to enjoy the clear Bahamian waters and start enjoying Bahama time. First time ashore for six days. And we are now legal in the Bahamas. Yeah, there's sponges and sponges and conks all over the place. Yeah. Walk up and down the back side of the island till the sun sets and then head back to the boat. The storm washed all kinds of things up on the beach. A ton of harvested conch shells, sponges the size of a wheel of cheese, and then these beach lounge chairs that looked like they fell off the back of a cruise ship. Only one was salvageable. The other one we found was buried. As you can see, the tide is way out. Today is February 19th, and we are experiencing a supermoon. A supermoon is a full moon at a time in its orbit when it is closest to the Earth. Today, it is the closest it will be all year. Can you see the boat way out there? That's why we chose a beach day. Winds are picking up. Pretty much nobody here. It's just us. 
Uh, every once in a while, a couple of sailboats come in, they'll anchor out <clears throat> overnight, and then they're gone the next day. <clears throat> we've stayed because we've got uh, good signal on our cell phones. Uh, so we've been doing some computer stuff. My chart plotter wasn't working right. It didn't show the depths or any of the details on anything. So uh, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave Bimini until I got this figured out because the only other thing we have is our, um, our little handheld GPS unit. It's a bad unit, which works really freaking great. Uh, both iPads, both iPhones hook up to it. But outside of the boat, that's the only backup item that are not working in given depths. I didn't want to leave here uh, until the chart plotter was working because I need to, want to make sure I have two systems for everything. So we've been here. It's kind of nice uh, as long as the weather's okay. It gets a little gets a little rolly sometimes. Um, but we've got 90 feet of chain out and a little bit of road just out here. Um, enjoying the some things they don't tell you on these really cool sailing videos that you watch on YouTube. The boat never stops moving. Whether you're on top of the boat trying to get stuff done, whether you're down below trying to use the bathroom or cook or organize or clean or straighten or whatever. The boat never stops moving. It's always rocking. The humidity is always going to be 80% and above. Everything is wet all the time. All your papers, your books, your clothes, uh, the, f the floor or sole of the boat, it's always going to be wet. Um, you're always going to be wet. When you do laundry on the boat and you hang your laundry out to dry on the side of the boat, it never actually gets dry because there's so much humidity. It's always going to be wet. Um, your camera equipment. Now I have heard this. Uh, your camera equipment is going to die and it did. Make sure all your stuff works and you know where you're going before you leave. Because trying to figure it out once you get here is a little tough because you don't always have a cell signal. You don't have Wi-Fi. Um, if you have any stuff any electronic equipment, put it in a waterproof case and then put it in a dry bag and then put all your other stuff into another dry bag so that you don't lose your computers, your electronics, your iPhones, your iPads. You take care because if it can get wet, uh, it will. Definitely will get wet. I thought of one more. Uh, a soft bottom roll up dinghy with a 2.4 horsepower motor will not cut it, okay? You need a hard bottom dinghy and you need at least five horsepower because your, your trips back and forth to shore will go from 15 minutes to two minutes. Uh, right now we got a soft bottom dinghy and if you're not careful, you'll just step right through the thing. So you need a hard bottom dinghy and a in a good size motor. Don't get here like we did with a little teeny tiny dinghy and a little teeny tiny dinghy motor. Next year will be different, guaranteed. Good morning, Heidi. Good morning. We are on our way to Port Lucaya. Um, we have got it up to 6.2 knots and gusts of 20, I guess. About 15, 16, down to 12 once in a while. But we are on our way to go explore. We look like we're healed over pretty good. Uh, yeah, we are. Every once in a while, I have to brace my foot up on the board.
This isn't working. I haven't been able to go back over and see him again to thank him, but uh, I'd like to before we get out of here. I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but tell him thanks for helping out the little guy. Uh, I can see the depths of the water uh, where we're going, which makes me feel much better. Much, much better. Uh, right. uh, it's finally died down a little bit, uh, but we were doing the bam, bam, bam into the waves. We'll be picking up sea glass. It's not sea glass yet. No, no, no. <laughs> I was just looking to see if there was a message in the bottle. Oh. <laughs> what are you messing with your hair? Because of my head, my hair and that looks like I have a bush attached to the back of my neck. <laughs>